Hi, boys and girls. Today, I am so excited for our Wit and Wisdom lesson because today we are going to look back at all the books that you read in Module 2. We are going to sort them, just like we did at the beginning, into stories and informational text. And then we are going to plan our very own story. So you're not going to be just a reader, you are going to become the author. So think about our essential question for all of module two. What makes a good story? Think way back to the beginning of module two. Your teacher asked you to make some predictions by looking at through these texts and decide if you thought any one of these books was a storybook or fiction or informational text or nonfiction. As we read, we discovered The Year at Maple Hill Farm was an informational text. It gave us information. Farm Animals, an informational text. And then our last three books in this module are storybooks. We read The Three Little Pigs. We read The Little Red Hen. And just last week, we read The Three Billy Goats Gruff. So I want you to think for a moment, is that how you sorted them? When you made your prediction all those weeks ago? If so, give yourself a little thumbs up. So what we are going to look at today is these fiction stories, these storybooks. And we are going to pick out elements or what makes a good story because that was our question for the module. What? I want to first look at Three Little Pigs because that's the first one that we read of the three storybooks. And I would ask you the question, hmm, who is your favorite character from the Three Little Pigs? And why? Character is one of our story elements, so I want you to think, who is your favorite character and why? Take about five seconds to think about that. Whisper it to yourself, say it in your mind, maybe share it with a family member or a pet. My favorite character in The Three Little Pigs is the third little pig. He is very smart because he built his house out of bricks. Also, he listened to his mom. Another story element that I want to think about is the problem. Most good stories have a problem or something that happens to a character. Let's think about the little red hen. I want you to think for about five seconds, what was the problem in the little red hen? Share it with a family member, share it with yourself, maybe with a stuffed animal. I remember the problem in the little red hen is that none of the other farm animals would help the little red hen bake the bread. Most stories have the main character responding to their problem or doing something to solve the problem. In The Little Red Hen, if you recall, the Little Red Hen just did everything herself. And then she ate that loaf of freshly baked bread. That is how she resolved her problem. Now, I bet you remember the story elements from Three Billy Go Goats Gruff, the story that you read last week. So I made a little chart of everything that a good story needs. And we just identified these elements in um, when we just went reviewed our stories from earlier in the module. We have our characters who are what the story is about. A setting, we didn't talk about that just now, but I know you're familiar. Setting is where and when the story takes place. Problem, the main character's challenge, we identified what the little red hen's problem was in the story. And then events, I called that responses to the problem. 
what happens in the story, and finally our story ends with a resolution. The end of a problem, usually in stories, the problem is solved. All right, like I told you at the beginning of this video, I'm so excited for you to complete this task today. Today we're going to brainstorm, we're going to think about some really strong ideas that we can use to write our story. And then I'm going to ask you to be thinking in your mind for when we come back together in our next video. And then we will take that thinking and we will put that on paper. So for your story, you are going to include all these story elements, the character, setting, problem, a response to the problem, and a resolution. So our story is going to take place on Maple Hill Farm. I've already written that in there under the box that says setting, Maple Hill Farm. So we want to choose a character that the story could be about. We want a character that would live on a farm. Think about all the reading you've done through this module. Think about the animals that live on farms. I chose a brown horse. I wouldn't have to use a brown horse. Maybe I would want to use, let's see. I could put in a different type of farm animal. I want you to whisper what you would choose. I'm also gonna write a fat cow. Maybe I would like to make my character a mm, yellow chick. These are all animals that I would find, oh, on Maple Hill Farm, which is my setting. So if you go back to our story elements, we have our character in our setting, and now we need our problem, an event, and a resolution. So I, I came up with some suggestions, some ideas here, but I think I'm going to go with the brown horse. because I have something in mind for my story. And I just feel like it would work best with the brown horse. So my problem, my problem has to be about this brown horse. I know. My horse is going to be outside on the farm. So I am going to come up with a problem, and in my story, it's in the winter. If I remember from the text Maple Hill Farm, I know that it gets very cold in the winter. And I remember that the animals often had to go inside. So my problem for Mr. Brown Horse, the brown horse is cold. And I'm going to add a detail because it is snowing. That's a problem for my horse. He is cold. Hmm, what might he do? He's not going to do something wacky, like go jump in a pond. He's going to do something to try to solve that problem. The brown horse goes into the barn. That makes sense. That's a good idea for my horse to solve that problem. And my resolution, how does my problem end? The brown horse is warm in the barn. I filled out the elements to my story. Next time I'm going to be ready to write. Let's review. My character is a brown horse. My setting is on Maple Hill Farm. My problem, the horse is cold because it is snowing. He goes into the barn and my resolution, how is my problem solved? The brown horse is warm in the barn. We are going to use this story map to write a story on Friday. You're going to be an author and create your own story about an animal on Maple Hill Farm. So between now and then, 
I want you to think about what animal you would like as your main character. You could write about a horse just like I did. Or maybe you want to use a cow, a chicken, a dog. Your job is to think of an animal you want to write your story about.